Okay, now we're going to open up a file, um, and opening and importing are the same thing, so we'll learn how to do both in the same tutorial. Okay, so go up to your file menu, down to open, and notice the open recent files just below, which enables us to quickly open files that we've been working on. So click on open, control O is the shortcut, and you'll see we're in, uh, we've got the open file dialog box. We're in our new file tutorial folder, and you can see the stair section. Um, PDF file is the one we're going to import. So PDF is an Adobe Acrobat or just uh, any PDF um, reader will open this file. Um, you'll be familiar with this file format already um, most likely. This file was created using Revit Architecture 2011. It's a vector file format uh, and you'll learn more about that in the following video. And um, in the drop down box here, well, I'll move this up so you can see it we'll see all the different file formats we can import or open in Illustrator. Generally the way to do it isn't to import as you might in other programs but to open it as its file format and um, then um, copy and paste into your file that you're working on. Otherwise you can just drag and drop um, in many cases. For example if it's an image from a folder in Windows using Windows Explorer straight onto your workspace and we might see that in uh, the referencing files um, tutorial video. Okay, so the native file format for Adobe Illustrator is .ai. That's often what you'll save it as and that's openable as a PDF you'll learn in later videos. Um, there's JPEG um, which is for um, a very common image file format and there's a whole bunch of others from uh, docs to Photoshop files um, and what I will mention quickly is the AutoCAD native drawing format, which is um, file format, which is .dwg and .dxf. If you've worked in um, any Autodesk product, you will be quite familiar with those two file formats. So if you were to import your DWG from AutoCAD, you would be able to import the um, attributed colors as well as the attributed um, layers and layer names. We'll learn more about that in later um, episodes, but know for the moment that it's incredibly useful for um, um, improving your workflow is then you can select all um, layers by line type and change the line to be a, a, of, a, of an aesthetic that you like and make the most of the graphic design abilities of Illustrator. Okay, so we'll won't select anything. This uh, If you do have this selected it just makes different file formats visible. We'll leave it on all formats. There's only one file here. Have it selected and click open. Now we have a font problem. It doesn't recognize the um, the font Helvetica and uh, so it's going to be substituted with a default font that doesn't matter for the moment but you can add uh, many fonts to Illustrator should you want if you find fonts online that you like you can do that as well so I'm gonna hold down alt and scroll down using my, the scroll um, button on my mouse and I zoom out and I can see the imported drawing 